relieving the pain of sciatica. We're going to start with one set of each exercise, lasting about 30 seconds. We're going to do about 8 stretches total. First one is a deep glute stretch, starting with your left leg up. You ready? You're going to start by grabbing behind that left knee with your right leg crossed over top. This stretch, even though you're holding your left leg, you're actually going to be stretching your right glute. So just pull it back as far as is comfortable and just hold it. And we're almost done. Just a little bit longer. And let it relax. So we're going to be doing this again on the opposite leg. So this time with your right leg up, left leg's crossed over top, holding behind that right knee. And start it up. Just slowly pull that leg back, get a good stretch. This one's really good for releasing that piriformis muscle deep down in that glute, which is actually what uh, pinches off that sciatic nerve most of the time. Just remember, we're holding this for about 30 seconds. You can always hold it for longer than this, but 30 seconds is a good place to start. We're almost done. And let it relax. Alright, that's our first stretch of eight done. Next one is the prone torso twist. We're going to start to the right side. We're holding this again for 30 seconds. Get ready. And begin. You're just going to bend that left knee and roll it over to the right as far as is comfortable. And you want to try to keep that left shoulder down towards the ground as best you can. It's not going to want to stay completely, but you want to try to push it back there as far as possible. And we're almost done. It's a little bit longer. And let it relax. Now we've got the other side to do. So same motion, just dropping that right knee this time over to the left. You ready? And begin. Just remember, same thing, just drop that knee over as far as is comfortable. Try to twist as much of that torso as possible, trying to keep that right shoulder this time back on the mat. And remember, you should never push into a stretch more than is comfortable. You should never, it should never be painful. It should just be a nice stretch. And breathe normal as best you can. And you're almost done. It's a little bit longer and let it relax. Alright, that's our second stretch done. Now we're moving into the shell stretch. Be up on your hands and knees for this one. Are you ready? And begin. You're going to press down and forward through the palm of your hand to try to round your back as much as you can, kind of pushing those shoulders down back towards your hips. You want to kind of tuck your chin the entire time as well. We're almost done. And let it relax. Alright, that's our third stretch of eight done. Next one is going to be the cobra stretch. That's when you're going to start flat out on your stomach with your hands down by your rib cage, base of your rib cage. And press up through those hands, only as high as is comfortable. You can keep those elbows bent a little bit if you need to, or if you've got enough flexibility, push all the way up and lock those elbows out. You might kind of constantly be pushing those shoulders down away from your ears, away from your neck. And we're almost done. And let it relax. That's four of eight. We're halfway through. Next one coming up is the seated torso twist. You're going to be turning to the left on this one. Your right leg is going to be out extended. The left leg is going to be up over top of your right. And go ahead and twist to the left. You can push against that knee with your elbow if you need to to help get a little extra stretch. And just nice and slow. Remember, never push into a stretch more than is comfortable. And you're almost done. 
and let it relax. That's the first side. We, now we have to do the opposite direction. So we're going to turn to the right this time. Left leg out straight, right leg over top. Ready? And begin. Twist to the right. Remember you can use that elbow and knee to kind of get a little extra twist out of it. Just slowly push into it. You should be constantly trying to push just a little tiny bit further as those muscles start to loosen up. And almost done. And let it relax. Just three more stretches to go. The next one is the seated crossover hamstring stretch. We're going to be turning to the left for this first one. Your left leg's going to be out straight. Your right leg's going to be kind of tucked across the top. And stretch down in between your feet with that opposite hand. So your left leg's out straight. Your right hand is going to be the one stretching out. And as you're doing this, you want, to, you want to kind of tuck your chin to your chest and round your back as best you can to get as much stretch in that lower back as possible. Almost done. And let that one relax. That was the first side. Now we need to do the opposite. So you're going to switch everything up. So you're going to be turning to the right this time. That right leg's going to be out. Your left leg is going to be tucked over top, and you're going to be reaching with that left hand. Same thing, you're going to be reaching out in between your feet with that left hand. Once you get that hamstring kind of engaged, you want to tuck that chin around those shoulders. Get as much stretch on that lower back as you can. As each one of these things starts to loosen up, remember you want to kind of constantly be pushing into it just a little bit more. And almost done with this one. and let it relax. Stand up for this next one. So have two more. This is a standing toe touch. It's a regular toe touch. It's really good for loosening up those hamstrings, that, those glutes, and that lower back. And stretch down. You want to keep those knees locked out. Stretch it down as far as you can. Kind of tuck that chin back up underneath your chest a little bit to get a little bit more back out of it. Remember, everything's connected all the way from your neck all the way down to that lower back, so make sure you get your upper back and neck stretched out as well. And almost done with this one. And let that one relax. You'll be back down in your hands and knees for this last one. This is a cat stretch. This is a really good one for your lower back. Ready? And start it up. You want to arch up really nice and high, kind of pulling your hips in towards your shoulders, tucking your chin underneath as much as possible, and then flex it back the opposite direction. So try to get as much of, an, of a bow in your back as possible. And then right back up. Just alternate back and forth about five seconds in each position. You can slow it down a little bit if you'd like. And we're almost done. and let it relax. Remember, if your back is really tight or if your sciatic is flaring up, you can always do this more than once a day. And don't forget, visit fitnessblender.com for more full